So hey, we're here with our 1980 GMC 3500 Crew Cab Dually Sierra Classic Camper Special. Get you some of that, that's a mouthful. We're gonna start here with the cold start. So let's open the hood, I'll get in it started, and then we're gonna get in the truck, pull it outside in the sun, so you can see the true colors, get all the doors open, and I'll show you all the options, and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. So as you can see, it runs smooth and it runs excellent, and it should. When we found this truck, it had been sitting since about 1997. We tried to start it up, had some sticky valves, had a little bit of backfire. We elected to go ahead and pull the engine. We pulled the engine out, had the heads rebuilt by Wells Racing. All new gasket set, all high-end Melodon parts, push rods, lifters, oil pump, new fuel pump new dormant gas tanks, new sitting units, charged the AC, changed all the fluids. So we've only got about 20 miles on it. And you guys see some of the pictures of the motor, we've highly detailed, just like it left the factory. This is the cold start, still idling up a little bit, no smoke at all. Now let's pull it outside. Okay, the idle cylinder is now kicked down. It's idling like it should at about 800. Yes, it is the numbers matching motor. Some neat things on this truck. Not only does it have the heavy duty brakes, it's got the hydro boost from the factory, which I believe was a code B55. It's got the best braking system you could get. Power steering, of course, AC, 454, four barrel. And this is the LE8 454 motor with the four barrel. And it's just beautiful under the hood. Looks like the jack's never been used. Really, really nicely detailed and clean. Again, we have pictures of the motor out. It's done and done right. Let me show you some of the neat, other neat stuff on this truck. The color code on this truck is code 60, which is Santa Fe tan. The other options on the truck are chrome grill, chrome front bumper, Camper Special. Now, these mirrors are factory for the Camper Special. They're stainless steel. Overhead lights are, are factory for the Camper Special. It is also, as you can see, a Sierra Classic. What else is really neat about this truck is it's a 1980. This is a one year only body style, one year only front end. So this is the only year you're gonna see this exact configuration. Trying to duplicate that in restoration is gonna be really tough. This is one family owned from new with 21,440 something ish actual miles. So we'll look at the camel tan interior. This is a little dash cover lay for the dash so it doesn't stay in the heat. But look at the dash, it is just absolutely amazing. It's a Sierra Classic, but he did not want power windows. So the power windows were deleted. Look at the carpets, look at the seat, look at the headliner, just absolutely outstanding. All the trim on this truck is super nice, it's super bright. 
It was sold brand new and ordered new in Las Vegas. It stayed in Vegas from 1980 to 1988. Then it went to the family ranch in Geraldine, Montana, where it went in a Quonset hut, a really big, nice facility. No lights in it. As far as the sun couldn't hit it, concrete floor, very nice environment. This truck has absolutely no rust, no dents, no dings. Chrome rear step bumper. Again, is on the build sheet on the camper special. It also came with a plug for the camper. Now this truck has got a few very nice, tastefully expensive modifications. It's got Alcoa wheels. And when you look inside here and you see this shifter, this red button right here is for your gear vendor overdrive. Even back in the day, that was over $3,000 to install that. It's about $4,000 now. The cruise control was also added. It is SCS for jet factory stuff, but it was added after. It's not on the build sheet, but we do have the paperwork. And they did a CB radio a Kenwood stereo, and it's got a hidden hitch in the bed. Which is right here, that'll just pop up in case you want to haul a fifth wheel. The bed is in absolutely exceptional condition, hasn't had anything hauled in it, no dents, no dings. This bed mat has always been in it. Although it's a camper special, it's never had a camper on it. It is 410 gear ratio, so you take the 410 gear ratio and the fact that it's got an MM4 SM465 heavy-duty transmission, which the SM stands for Saginaw Muncie. The transmission is a monster. Another thing is when you got this, it was, has a special order gauge package. I think it's the U56. I'm not 100% positive, but also the TAC did not come with that, so they special ordered the TAC which supposedly makes this a very special truck. It does have trailer brakes. It does have a realistic CB. So it's got a couple of aftermarket things that could easily be swapped back if you wanted to. He put a 1987 steering wheel on because he really liked it. The original steering wheel with a perfect horn button comes with the truck, so have both of those. We also have tremendous books and records on this. Really, really neat truck. Again, it's 21,448 miles, so Let's go for a test drive. I think you're going to be impressed. One of the things I love to look at when I'm in these is are the seat belts. The condition of these are just incredible. The truck also has, which it, we do have the build sheet posted to the truck. We've got the owner's manual, great documentation. It does have dual gas tanks. Like I mentioned earlier, when we were doing the service, we put in brand new Dorman steel tanks, nice tanks, new sending units. Here's our auxiliary switch right here. And again, this is an SM465, also known as an MM4 heavy duty transmission. Really, really cool to have a big block four speed truck. It's got to just be crazy rare. So I just took off in low. I think the low on this is like a six to one. And with a 410 gear, I think that you consider that a stump puller. If you look at the condition of the dash, it's just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the headliner's beautiful. If you look in the back seat, I don't think anybody's ever sat back there. Now, I got to interview three or four of the guy's friends that own this. He also was the one that special ordered it new and took care of it his whole life. One of them described him as anal retentive. One of them described him as ballistically anal retentive. They meant this in a good way. His brother didn't describe him as that, he just described him as a typical pilot. So the guy was an airline pilot, worked on aircraft, worked on race cars, and just absolutely treated this truck with kid gloves, and he special ordered it new. So we're running right now about 50 miles an hour, it just runs and drives fantastic. AC's blowing cold. I think to find, I've never seen a dually like this in this condition, that's been kept like this. 21,449 miles now. I'm gonna add a few more on this test drive. To duplicate one in restoration like this, especially this being a one year only truck, anything can be done, but boy, I tell you what, it'd be cost prohibitive. And if you guys will please take time and look at the chassis pictures, you're just gonna be shocked. I mean, there is no rust, no undercoating, just beautiful. I think 
even the pickiest collector would spend very, very little stepping this truck up. We did not buff it. We did not wax it. There's no signs of wax anywhere on the truck. We've only hand washed it twice. We did not detail the interior. We didn't have to. The majority of the time we spent on this truck was mechanical. What I was saying earlier, and I didn't know if you could hear me very well because the motor was running, is the valves were a little bit sticky. It was popping a little bit when we got it running. So instead of just pulling the heads, we went ahead and pulled the motor. We inspected everything. It looked brand new inside. Milladon oil pump, Milladon push rods, Milladon lifters, Felpro gasket set. We went ahead and put a new clutch and pressure plate in it because we had it apart. Interesting little tidbit. The cross member of the holes of transmission in this truck has 26 bolts. Very nicely detailed engine. Actually, in my opinion, is better than it was probably when it left the factory. All the CAD plating is perfect. The zinc plating is great. And it is a numbers matching motor. The VIN is stamped on the pad, and we do have a nice picture of that. We also scanned all the documents. The miles are very, very documented, absolutely right. The last time it was serviced before we got a hold of it was in 1997. Battery, oil, and all six tires were replaced. What a pleasure to drive. You just have to see this thing in person. It's just absolutely, condition-wise, is just stunning. I don't know how much cooler you can get than a C3500, one ton, crew cab, dually, Sierra Classic, camper special. Now that's a mouthful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for going for a ride. I think this is one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world. Y'all have a great day.